What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment and I'm here to bring you a uh, second week of Toronto Raptors Weekly. Uh, this week it's been an interesting week for us. Uh, you know the first week was alright. It started off nicely. Now for this week we've been on a west coast road trip. Started off slow losing you know two very close games against two top top quality opponents and the Spurs and Golden State Warriors. Golden State game, we definitely should have won that game. Uh, sucks that we just couldn't hold on and end up losing. I mean, well, I thought we were going to win that. We're up five of about a minute and a half to go. And you got to hand it to Golden State. They just made clutch shots. And, uh, you know, they are able to pull it out in the end. It's funny, every time we play Golden State, we played them very closely but we're just not good enough to win. I mean, I think that it's going on at least three years now that we've, for the most part, played them very close every single game, but just end up losing within the last minute or so. So, I thought it was going to be bad. You know, the next game against the Lakers, uh, we were down double digits against that young team, and then ended up turning it around and winning, going away. So, uh as I'm recording this right now, we're playing Portland and up big at halftime. So we should come away with that victory. So it's going to end up being, to me, a very good uh, a good road trip for us if we can continue winning. You know, it would have been nice to get those two victories. But, you know, it's a quality, I always call it a quality loss. And, you know, you never want to lose, obviously. But if you're going to lose, lose against, a, you know, a team that's going to be a top-tier team in the league. It's always sucky if you lose and you lose against a team that you're supposed to win or a team that's not going to make the playoffs. You're going to lose, lose against a, a playoff team. So, you know, we're, we're doing all right. I think we're going to win tonight. It'll be 4-2. And, and, um... You know, it's it's been, in, to me, a good start to the season. Uh, what I did want to also talk about was not mainly us, but what's also going on in the East, which is the team that we've, you know, faced the last two years in the playoffs, which is the Cleveland Cavaliers. And while we're doing relatively well to start the season, on the flip side, the Cavs are really struggling. You know, they've lost four games in a row. Um, they're giving up like 117 points a game, just struggling. They've lost, well, we've lost against, you know, two very top quality opponents. I mean, they've lost against Brooklyn, the Knicks, uh, Orlando. I mean, you know, they've lost against some really, really, really bad teams. Teams that didn't even make the playoffs. Uh, teams that you know probably won't even make the playoffs this season and the struggle is real with them and I know it's early in the season and you know it's the first couple weeks in the season and you know obviously things can change you know being the second week but man Cleveland has looked real old very quickly and they have a lot of figuring out that they need to do to get things right because you know they get, you got teams that it, you wouldn't even expect to you know do very well against them putting up 117 120 something points on these guys and it's not it's not a coincidence it's not just like oh it was just one game this is every game for whatever reason these guys are not sinking together. They're not talking on defense. I've seen wide open layups, wide open threes, you know, them getting scored on after a made basket, people scoring on them on fast breaks when it shouldn't even be a fast break. Um, so it's very strange. I, I would have never thought that this would be the case. I thought this team would be steamrolling people. They got some key acquisitions, and 
I thought that even even though Isaiah Thomas is not playing, I thought that they'd be doing well without him. Um, I mean, obviously with him coming back, it's definitely not going to help them on the defensive end, that's for sure. So whatever issues they have on defense, that's not going to change when he comes back. It may even get worse. So they got a lot of soul searching that they got to do in order to fix that. And, you know, if this keeps up, this is a prime opportunity for the Raps to sneak in and, you know, make a move. If there was any, if there's ever a time for them to make a move and get to where they need to go, which is to the NBA Finals, this could be the year for them. Obviously, it looks like it's going to be... And unless Cleveland sorts it out, it's going to be them in Boston. Boston's been playing relatively well, surprisingly, you know, b- despite losing Gordon Hayward for the year. Uh, so, if things continue, it's going to be them battling it out. I still say overall that the Raps are a better team uh, than Boston. But, you know, we just have to see how that goes. I think Boston gave up a lot to get Kyrie and um you know it'll be interesting to see how they play down during the stretch of the season because uh you know they 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 made some moves as far as um you know the acquisition of also getting the draft pick they want and getting you know a draft pick in return from that, which I think, by the way, they ripped off Philadelphia with that. I still don't understand that trade to this date. Um, Because to me, it's like basically Philadelphia got the pick that they were going to get anyways and then traded for him. So you paid more for the pick because now he's the first pick, but you would have got him at number three anyways. So I never understood them making that trade. But it is what it is. You know, Boston ended up getting the guy that they wanted anyways and picking him, you know, three spot, two spots down. So they get, they get the pick they were looking for, they get a pick, draft pick future, and get to pay the guy less. I mean, talk about coming out on top. But, um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm very surprised at how badly Cleveland is playing. And, you know, I'm, you're starting to hear rumblings of fire Tyron Lou, uh, you know, LeBron, the coach, he's going to have to make some changes. And it's all funny to me. I mean, it's, it's early on, man. Maybe these guys are just not into it yet. You know, I think one of the reasons why, and I could be wrong about this, but I think one of the reasons why I didn't even know that the season started is because I think they played fewer preseason games this year. And probably training camp was a little less than usual. Because I was just like, it caught me off guard that um, the season has started already. So, I think that because of that, you know, teams are not necessarily prepared and not ready especially the veteran teams. Uh, If you look at the standings, a lot of these standings are flipped, where teams that you thought were going to be, you know, decent and dominating are kind of struggling, and the teams that you wouldn't think would be doing well are actually doing pretty good, like, for example, Orlando or uh, Detroit. Uh, You know, these teams are actually on top right now. And you got teams like Golden State, Cleveland, that are just, are actually struggling right now. So, I'm sure everything is going to even itself out once, you know, you get about 30, 40 games into the season. Teams get acclimated to each other again, get into the proper conditioning. And, you know, the other teams come back down to earth. Everything's going to sort itself out. So... Um, hopefully 
as far as the Raps go, they can keep up this momentum on this West Coast trip. Um, and, you know, come back with a winning record on the, on the West Coast trip and keep that momentum going once they get back home. So, anyways, that's it for the video. Uh, if you like the video, definitely feel 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 free to leave a like on the video. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below, and let me know how you feel about the raps. Do you think that this will be the year that they can actually make it to the NBA Finals? If especially if can if Cleveland continues to struggle, and um, you know, try to share this video with as many people as possible, and uh, talk about Raptors basketball. And if you enjoy my content, definitely subscribe to the channel and hit the subscribe button. Anyways, thank you for watching the video. Have a great day. Peace.